Hello, and welcome to How to Learn Anything at Home in Your Pyjamas. My name's Hugh, and in this series of short films and video captures, I'm going to be introducing you to a number of tools and techniques on the internet that you can use at home to become your own teacher. First things first, if you're going to teach yourself, you've got to drop the idea that you can't. As Henry Ford once said, if you think you can't do something, you probably can't. We all pick up these ideas in school. We think we're bad at English, bad at maths, bad at languages, bad at music. It's not true. It's simply the case that you didn't have the right teacher for you at the time. If you're going to teach yourself on the internet, you've got to have a go and be prepared to make a few mistakes along the way. The internet has brought with it a vast number of opportunities for learning. Whether it is by searching the roughly 5 million terabytes of data on Google or other search engines, watching how-to videos on YouTube, whether it's by joining communities on LinkedIn, Facebook or Twitter. But the sheer volume and scale of the internet can be rather daunting. Before setting out on the task of educating ourselves, it can make sense to bring a pocket full of pebbles so we can find our way home afterwards. And that brings us to our first concept, one of social bookmarking. If you think of the internet as some large multi-dimensional library that you're going to explore, then social bookmarking, and in particular delicious, is a way of exploring that library and sticking multicoloured post-it notes onto the things that you find interesting and relevant. Moreover, you can add words and comments onto these post-it notes, which are called tags, which help you find your, your bookmarks later. That on its own is interesting enough, but the great thing about social bookmarking is the social element. You're able to share the things that you have found interesting with other people, whether they be people you work with, people you study with, or people you just share a common interest with. So together, you make sense of the internet. The next thing to look at is searching capability. Have you ever typed how to use Google into Google? If you do, you'll find a whole host of tips and techniques to improve your search skills. But you don't always need to go to the internet. The internet can come to you. If you find a website which displays an image like this, you can, using a, a feed reader, which is a bit like an email inbox, ask it to send you information around the subject you subscribe to. The purpose of the Bloodhound Project is to inspire and infuse a whole generation in the study of science, technology, engineering and maths. And as the project goes on in the coming months, we'll be releasing a number of short films and video captures that explore the themes we've discovered here today. But the best way to learn something is to teach someone else, and that's where you come in. We'll soon be asking you to submit your ideas, your videos, your mashups of the ways to infuse this generation and ignite the passion for the subject.